In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement tab layout in Android. So you can see we are switching the fragment when we swipe to the left and right. And we are also switching the fragment when we click on the tabs. So this is what we are going to implement in this video. And this is the demo. So let's get to the implementation part. First of all, we can go to the resources, layout, activity main XML part and go to the split mode and here we can change the parent layout to linear layout. We can give an orientation vertical. Okay, then you can remove the text view from here and we have to add tab layout. You can see this third one that is tab layout. Okay, and set the width to match parent, height to warp content okay open this now inside this we'll be adding three tab items so type tab items add one tab item and you can give warp content warp content close it okay and we can also give a text for the tab item so text let's give it tab one okay now you can copy the tab item from here and paste it below we are going to add three tabs so you can add as much as you want so we'll be adding three tabs okay tab two and tab three okay so now you can see we are having a tab layout and inside that we are having three tab items okay okay we have to give an id for the tab layout so id tab layout okay so i have given the id for the tab layout now go to the bottom and we have to create a view pager. So choose the view pager two, and you can set match parent, match parent. We have to give an ID for the view pager. So ID, we can give an ID like view pager. Okay. Now you can see on the palette side, we can minimize the size and you can see we are having three tabs here tab one tab two and tab three and here we are having the view pager so we'll be switching the fragments when we click on the tabs and also when we swipe left and right okay so for that we can go to the activity main java part and we have to create an object for the view pager and all before that you can create three fragments so go to the app and right click new and you can scroll down and you can see fragments and select fragment blank you can give the fragment any name so tab one and you can click on finish you have to add three fragments before that you can simply remove the comment from here this much and you can remove all these from here we only need the on create view function okay so you can remove everything else and make it like this okay remove the comment also okay so make it like this okay so that's all needed now you can create another fragment new fragment blank fragment name the fragment click on finish and remove the comments and unwanted things and we have added the second fragment add another one new fragments and add the blank fragment okay now we have added three fragments okay now you can see that we have added three fragments so you can see tab one we have removed the unwanted things and tab two you can see and tab three okay now go to the layout and fragment tab one we can give a text view okay there's already one text view we can give some text here so that we can identify each fragments so we can type like fragment one we can also give a text size. Okay, and we can do the same for other fragments as well. Move the change the text. Okay. Now you can see that we have given the text view 
for the three fragment layouts you can see that fragment one fragment two and fragment three okay so we can identify each fragments that's why we given the text view okay now we can close the layout of the fragments and also the classes okay now go to the activity main java class and we have to create three objects so one for the tabbed layout tab layout create an object the next one is for the view pager view pager 2 view pager okay and the next one for view pager adapter so we have to create a view pager adapter so for that you can come to the java and create a new class java class and name the class like view pager adapter You have to extend extend fragment state adapter okay you have to extend the class fragment state adapter and then you can see an error here so click here and type all tender you can see implement methods click that and you can see we need to implement the function create fragment and also get item count okay you can click on okay now we have added the functions and inside the fragment created you can change this return and we have to create a switch statement switch position okay case 1 case 0 if the position is 0 we can return the tab 1 so return new tab 1 okay and if case one return new tab two case three that is case two return new tab three okay and the default one we can return the tab one okay so this is the switch statement and you can scroll down and inside the get item count you can pass three okay and you can see an error here so click on the class here and type all tender you can see create constructor matching super so click that and we have to select the first one and click okay okay that's all so that's all you have to add a constructor and it will go away okay so this is our adapter so that's all the adapter is ready and now we can go to the main activity java part and create the object for the adapter view pager adapter create the object now come inside the own create method and initialize the objects so tab layout equal to find view by id r dot id dot give the id of the item that is tab layout then the next one is view pager view pager equal to find view by id r dot id dot give the id of the view pager okay then you can initialize the view pager adapter view pager adapter equal to new view pager adapter and pass the this okay so we are passing the activity okay that's all now we have to add a listener so tab layout dot add to tab selected listener okay new on tab selected listener okay now here we can switch the tab for that you can do view pager to dot select current item and then you can pass the tab dot get position okay and this will switch the current tab okay that's all then you can scroll down and you have to handle the same for the view pager also so right now we have added the on tab selected listener for the tabbed layout 
so if you click on the tabs it will change the fragment so you also have to add it for the view pager also so you can change the fragment when you swipe left and right okay so for that come down and type view pager to dot register on page change callback and pass new view pager dot on page change callback okay and here you can see it is asking you to implement a function so you have to select the on page selected so select this second one on page selected and click ok ok now you can see the view pager also added and come inside the on page selected function hit enter here tab layout dot get tab at and then you can pass the position here position after that you can select it dot select that's all so this will select the fragment when you switch the tab using the view pager okay so after this you can scroll to the top and we have to add the adapter to the view pager so we forget to do that so come here after the installation of the view pager adapter view pager to dot set adapter and then you can pass the object of the adapter that's all now we can try running the app now the coding is completed so we can try running the app you can see the app has launched and we can see the tab 1 let's click on the tab 2 you can see the tab 2 has opened and the text view is showing let's click on tab 3 and you can see the on click for tabs are working fine now you can try swiping to the right and that is also working fine okay so that's all with the implementation if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below and i'll respond to them if you want the full source code of this video you can come to this link i will give the link on the description and you can download that from here so hope you understand how to implement tab layout in android if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos